Yeah, like I said, I've got more of them if you want to see them. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, my wife looked it up. It was 165 bucks just for the hot plate. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. What do you need up today? Golf clubs. I don't have golf clubs. Well, shucks. <laughs> well, let's see what else I can find then. Need a TV? What is <laughs> Ten bucks for that sodium. Oh, wow. And it works. Trust me, it's just... It's, it's, it's a little older. And, you know, that's what my son used the game. And, uh, and I got a video. <laughs> Everything that's brand new. What's your bottom dollar on the induction cooker? It's 45 it? That's brand new too. Uh, my wife looked it up. It was 165 bucks just for the hot plate. Yeah. It's probably 40 bucks. I'll grab it. I don't know whether it was too early in the morning or the coffee hadn't kicked in yet, but I don't know why I paid $40 for this thing. I guess I was thinking it was kind of like the new wave induction cooktops that are actually worth a good bit of money, but this one's not. I'm going to be lucky to break even. Even with the pan that's brand new, it doesn't have a real good sell through rate. So hopefully I'll break even on these two. But I did also get this wok. It's Farberware electric wok. It's only two bucks. So I grabbed it and honestly, the valuable part is this. I can actually get rid of the wok part and just sell this. Really easy to list and ship. And I should get actually like $30 for this thing. So this is no good. This is pretty good. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you in there. Okay. How much is your putter? Uh, that's brand new. Not sure why the camera cut off, but I paid 50 bucks for this Odyssey 10 triple track putter. And I paid so much because it's actually brand new, still sealed in the plastic. I should get around $200 for this thing. The cheapest one that I saw listed was like $239, and the most recent sold was like $235. So I think this buy makes up for that stupid cooktop thing. Morning, how are you? Morning, how are you? Oh, those are so cool. Yeah, I have a bunch of those. Do you? Yeah. Aristocats. Yeah, that one doesn't have any water. Okay. They're old. We've had them sure. for 28 years, I think. And so. And this one, the little car goes around? When you turn, when it's it turns on, on yeah. that's cool. So, yeah, I've got my sister in law gave them to my daughter every year for her birthday. And so, but they've just been packed up and stored. Right. Um, 15 for both. I'll do that. I've never seen that one before. That is cool. Yeah, like I said, I've got more of them if you want to see them. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> they're all except for that one they're all disney that's that's what i like uh, disney, yeah. yes ma'am okay, this one what i got oh this one still has a water i got little mermaid oh my gosh I didn't think these had the water in them. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't have the water. Yeah. yeah, that one doesn't have the water in it anymore. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six of them? Six Disney, yeah. Yeah, how much you gotta have? Mmm, 50 for all of them. That's fair. That's fair, I think they're cool.
So six Disney snow globes for 50 bucks at first glance seems like a really good deal. But then there's ones like this cat one that doesn't have water in it. And then also this one doesn't have water in it and it's a little foggy. So there's a few with some condition issues. Most of the rest of them are in really good condition. And if you take the comps from all of them and add them together on the lower end, you're looking around $340. Now, if I take that and cut it in half, because I don't want to be too optimistic, I'm looking around 170 bucks. So 50 and 170, not great, not too bad. I think I can do a little better than that, but it is going to take a little bit of effort to pack and ship these things. So would I do it again? I'm not so sure. You got to have one of these. $2. Two bucks. Thank you, sir. Two bucks. I used to be able to hit that. I was, I've you never seen that before. I'll tell you what, it's, you've seen Tiger hit his stinger. Right. That's the club right there. I mean, that is flat. Yeah. It's driving. How much you got after that? Two dollars. Two dollar deals all the way around, huh? Yeah. Two dollars all you can get. Get it going. <laughs> Take two for this one too, because I just want to hit it. Sure. <laughs> sure. That works. Six dollars spent. Got one pair of shoes, two golf clubs. This one is a momentous golf. It's actually a swing trainer. It's a weighted golf club. Weighs 48 ounces, kind of helps you build up your swing. Not worth a whole lot, but you should definitely be on the lookout for golf training aids. Some of that stuff can go for some crazy money. Then I got this parlay driver. It's basically a driving iron. I got it for me. I just want to see if I can hit it. I mean, it's basically got no loft. It's going to be hard to hit, but it should be fun to try. And then these Toffel has -bins. They're definitely a bolo. There's 30 listed right now, 44 are sold. And they bring in like 30, 40, 50 dollars, which is kind of crazy to me. Not only that, when you clang them together, they make cool noises. Kind of reminds me of this. Halt! Ridden on a horse? Yes. You've got two empty halves of coconut and you're banging them together. So? You already paid for those? Mm -hmm. Nine dollars. You want a bag? No. You good? Okay. How much is it? Hey, we're $2 each. Okay. Eight. I'm and I'm dropping them. I didn't realize there wasn't something in between them. <laughs> I'm tearing stuff up. No, you're good. How much are you asking in your clubs? Um, are those three right there? Five bucks. So five bucks for these three golf clubs. And honestly, I probably should have left these two behind, but I'm a sucker for weird clubs. This is a Walter Hagen sand glider. Definitely not worth much. Even if I list it, it's not going to sell real quick. And then the Alien 2 Pro Series wedges. And once again, same thing. Not going to sell quick, not going to sell for much, but I'm a sucker for weird golf clubs. What can I say? But this guy, I knew I had something pretty good. If you ever see that name, Tad Moore, he is a club designer. And some of his stuff can go for some pretty good money. I've never actually found one of the high-end, super expensive clubs, but this one sells for 40 or 50 bucks, so not too bad. How much is your mouth? Uh, $2. How about the roof rack? 
Uh, which my husband say? I think he said 50, and I 50. have the key for it. Okay. So if you're interested, I'll go find that. It came off the Subaru? Yeah, we use them on the Subaru. Okay. Um, they're, they're, you know, universal. We're okay. They expand to different lengths or widths. But. I got you. All the clothes fell in that box, so I don't know what you're looking for as far as baby stuff, but there is a couple. How about these guys? Uh, the Peloton shoes are 2020. Okay. Twenty dollars is probably paying up a little bit at a garage sale for some shoes, but these Peloton shoes should sell really quick. There's 200 listed and like 600 have sold, and these are basically brand new. I mean, there's one or two little marks, and the cleats are attached. So I think that was a pretty good buy. And then the mouse that I got for two dollars, well, that's for me. It's currently in use. figured I'd save you about 10 minutes of me looking through golf clubs and just show you what I got and tell you that I actually ended up spending $80 and bought everything she had in the barrel. Got this tailor-made driver. It's a slider driver, slider three wood, ping I-20. It's a 20 degree hybrid. Another ping G410. It's a 19 degree hybrid. This cool Odyssey tank putter. Like I said, it's really cool. Really nice condition too. And then an awesome collection of wedges, like even this King Cobra Forged Gap Wedge, it's also for like 120. And remember, Nike doesn't make golf clubs anymore. Well, this Nike Vapor Fly, Fly Pro Wedge, it's also for like 125. So all, if you add all this stuff up, you're looking around $900 in gross sales. Of course, you have to deduct the fees and shipping from that, but I only paid $80 for everything. And honestly, that's not factoring in these shafts. You got some random shafts laying around, so I grabbed those two. Should get well over $100 for those. So the shaft should pay for everything. And then all of this, profit. That was actually the first real weekend of garage sales in my little corner of South Carolina. And obviously I made some questionable buys. Hopefully I'm just out of practice because there's a ton of garage sales coming up. And if you enjoy content like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, it helps me out. And until then, we'll see you.